If you haven't seen the unboxing of this kit yet, I will be leaving a link in the top right corner on your screen. And also if you're interested in purchasing one of these kits, I will be leaving a link to the Facebook page or a Facebook group from PZY Model and Kitbox. If you are interested in purchasing one, you can contact one of the administrators of that page and they will help you out with your purchase. So first of all, as usual with every single build I do, I go over all the panel lines, find some imperfections in the body and fix those. So the first step is just scribing out all the panel lines, making them a little bit wider and a little bit deeper. They were pretty good already, so it wasn't a lot of work, but I just wanted to go over all of them so they wouldn't disappear after I applied some paint. I then sanded the entire body with a 600 grit to Mia sanding sponge and moved it into the spray booth ready for some primer. So first of all, you know what I'm going to do here. And then after that has all been completed, I can move on to the rest of the body. first coat has now been applied, I let that sit and dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then moved on to the second coat of primer. The second one is a little bit thicker just to build up the primer so I can sand it back a little bit afterwards to make it a lot nicer and smoother. With the primer now given some time to cure, let's take a couple seconds out to thank this video's sponsor. Remambo is a Japanese proxy server that helps you shop on Japanese auction websites like Yahoo Auctions, Rakuten Market, Yahoo Shopping, and a couple of others as well. They help you buy items from various auction websites, have it shipped to their warehouse, they can check the items, and if you have it insured, they will make sure that it is the correct item that you ordered. You can order multiple items, have them all sent to their warehouse, and have them pack it up in one box instead of having several parcels being shipped out separately. You can just get it in one big box to save on shipping and probably on import as well. If you're interested in checking out Remambo, I will be leaving links in the description down below. You can sign up through my link and get a thousand yen deposited into your account for your first order. Again, thank you Remambo for sponsoring this video. Please do check them out. I've tried them myself and I'm more than happy with their services and got a couple of nice kits and cars for my collection that I otherwise was not able to find here in Europe. The primer has now had a couple of hours of cure time and I can move on to sanding it. Now, the usual way that I apply these primers from Tamiya, somehow it ends up a little bit textury every single time and it just needs to be knocked back a little bit with a 3000 grit sanding sponge to make it nice and smooth. If you would just leave it like this, this will translate into the paint, into the clear, and the overall finish would suffer from it. So do make sure to sand out all the imperfections and get it nice and smooth. After sanding the entire body down nice and smooth, it was ready for the paints to go on. So together with Street Blisters, we decided on a color and they specially mixed it and added to their lineup of Street Blisters base coat paints. The color that I decided to go was BMW Secure Orange and this is a two-part paint. Now, it depends on the manufacturer you ask it, but in this case, the way that Street Blisters has made this paint and found it to be used and applied the best is as a two-part. So the first one is a gray base coat, which was really, really nice already. So I kind of was thinking of leaving it like this, but then again, the orange is pretty awesome too. So the first base coat that you see here is a gray. It looks a lot like the primer. It's just maybe a bit bluish and uh, just the exact shade of gray that it needs to be for the orange to cover as best as possible and get the closest match to the color. I applied that in two light coats, let those cure for 10 minutes in between. And then after the second coat was applied, I let it sit and dry for about 10 minutes again, cleaned out the airbrush and started on the orange.
As you can probably already tell from those harsh reach east forget spots, it is covering incredibly nicely. In total, it needed about two coats to fully cover, and to be sure, I added a third one, but that is just a safety coat and not actually required, so to speak, but I just like to be safe and not sorry and have it painted and covered absolutely 100% and not find out later that I missed a spot here or there. So this first one is not going to be for full coverage, but as you can see, it wasn't really that hard to get really nice coverage already. I'm just applying it nice and light, misting it over the entire body. And then after this one has cured, I can move on to the second coat after about 10 minutes. Now keep in mind the body that I'm painting here is made out of resin and not out of plastic. So in this case, I can apply the paint a little bit heavier than you would on a plastic body. So be sure not to go full wet coats on a plastic kit as that could potentially ruin the entire build as some of these paints can be a little bit aggressive towards plastic. In this case with a resin, the paint doesn't bite into it, it can't ruin it and therefore you can apply it a little bit heavier but do take note, do not do this on a plastic body. In this case I'm applying two coats and that is full coverage and then a third one to be sure like I said. But if you're doing this on a plastic kit, it will probably take between three and five coats to achieve the same coverage and the same results. Just apply them a lot thinner and make sure to take all of the proper curing times into account. first coat has been applied. I let that sit for 10 minutes and then moved on to the second coat. Now as you can see the coverage is nice so I'm not going to go wild on this second coat but I am going to be going a bit thicker just to get a nice and smooth finish. Once the second coat was applied, again another 10 minutes and then a third light mist coat to go on top for that safety shoot just to be exactly and absolutely sure everything is covered. I then let the body sit and cure overnight before I started masking off for the roof to be painted black in order for the carbon fiber decal to go on top. And while I was doing that, I also decided to mask up the side for the window trim which needs to go in a gloss black as well along with the roof rails for the roof rack which is not supposed to be installed on the carbon roof but still some of the trim pieces on the roof are also supposed to be painted in a gloss black and I decided to do that at the same time as the window trim. A couple coats of black later and a little bit of cure time about 5 to 10 minutes after spraying and I could carefully start unmasking everything. On a small thin edge around the rear tail light, I did mess up a little bit. I poked it with my fingernail and scraped off a tiny amount of paint. So that was quickly just touched up with a small toothpick and a little bit of the base coat color. Before applying the badges front and rear, there was a small photo etch piece that needed to go underneath it. So that was glued in place and then the decal was put on top. So as you probably all know, these M3s have a full carbon roof, 
the small strips on the side need to stay gloss black so it's just that center section that needs to be completed in carbon fiber and for this one I decided to go with some SK decals twill weave carbon fiber now this decal is a little bit thicker but it also works a little bit more like vinyl stretches a little bit and doesn't really require all that much softening solution so first off I just laid some setting solution underneath to help it stick and also soften it just a little bit and mostly enough in this case and then started carefully rolling over it with a cotton swab to remove all of the moisture from underneath and also the air and then once that was done I could heat it up a little bit and do the final shaping. And if you want to know more about carbon fiber decal or decal the placement in general there are multiple tutorials on the channel so feel free to check those out as well. After I let the decal sit and cure for a while and uh, doing a couple of heat cycles with a hair dryer just to make sure that it is absolutely dry, I moved the body back into the spray booth for a first coat of clear. I'm going to go over the decals first just to acclimate those to the clear and give them a nice small protective barrier, not going too heavy, just a light mist coat, and also going over all the hard to reach, easy to forget spots and then moving on to giving the rest of the body a first coat as well. The number 5 clear that I'm using here requires no thinner as they say in the instructions. So for the first coat I did not add any thinners but since it's a bit colder in the area where I live at the moment it is a bit too thick for my liking but as a first coat that doesn't really matter there's a nice base of clear on there and not too much thinner as there's no thinner in it at all. And for the second coat just to make it flow out even more and have a nicer glossier smoother finish I did add about 10% of thinners to the entire mixture to make it a lot thinner but also flow out a lot better and then applied the second and final coat of clear. second coat of clear has now been applied and completed and I can let it cure for a couple of days and in the meantime move on to the interior. Now for the interior I would like to have some of your suggestions in the comments down below. What color would you like to see me use on the interior? I myself am thinking of a white as that would look pretty cool with the orange and a brown would match a bit too much with the orange so that is not something I would prefer but I'm curious to see what you guys would think. Do leave a comment down below and also thank you to all my Patreons and channel members for helping me out every month with a small donation to the channel. If you're interested in that as well to help me out create videos for you and keep them free on the internet there will be links in the description as well.